Good morning, you guys. We are filming what I eat in a day today. I just woke up and I need some coffee and some breakfast. <laughs> obsessed with dragon fruit bowls for breakfast ever since I went to Costa Rica in March. It's so refreshing. But the base is just frozen dragon fruit and vanilla coconut yogurt and I added some granola, frozen berries, and peanut butter on top. Some cacao nibs would also be good. It's the best summer breakfast. For lunch, I am having a Cook Unity meal. I'm actually working with Cook Unity on this video and I'm so excited to share them with you guys. Cook Unity partners with culinary innovators and Michelin star chefs from across the US to bring you an at-home dining experience that you can't find anywhere else. They offer healthy, balanced, and nutritious meals with fresh seasonal produce, prioritizing whole foods and local suppliers. Today, I'm having the vegan Mediterranean Spice Chili by Ina Admoni. I love how convenient these have been for while I'm working from home. It's so easy for me. All you have to do is pop them in the microwave or oven and they're ready super quickly. And every meal I've had has been so, so yummy. Through a weekly subscription with Cook Unity, you can select from a robust and ever-changing menu of handcrafted meals. And I love this subscription because it's super flexible. You can pause, skip weeks, or cancel at any time. If you want to give it a try, you can go to cookunity.com slash Kaylee or click the link in my description and use my code Kaylee50 to get 50% off your first order of Cook Unity meals to try them out for yourself. And thanks to Cook Unity for partnering with me on this video. I just got home from a morning walk with Laszlo and I actually have house updates for you guys in one of my last videos. I think my last video, I'm not sure what order contents going up in exactly because a lot of it depends on brand approvals but in one of my last videos i chatted with you guys about the house hunting process i basically had an accepted offer on a place and the sellers backed out because someone came in with an all cash offer and it was super disheartening just disappointing but I wanted to keep moving with the process. I think it was like a week later after that, I went and toured a few more places with my partner and our agent. And most of these places were actually in like the ideal area that I was looking in. The house that I got the accepted offer on wasn't necessarily in the most ideal area, but it was still super cute and I would have been so happy to have that place. But I found another place. It was a bit higher in price, definitely closer to top of budget, but it was in the most perfect area. Sorry, just got tipped over. And one of the places that we saw, we just fell in love with. It's in the most ideal area. It's larger than we expected that we could have ever had. It has like six acres of land. It's on a pretty private road, but it's actually still town maintained. So they plow it in the winter, which is incredible. And most of the acreage is forested, which is just so dreamy. It also has a garage, which is so nice for the winter. And it's the kind of house that I've dreamed of having, but I feel like you don't see the architecture that much. It's a late 70s, early 80s style place you've probably seen things on like instagram tumblr pinterest of 80s architecture there's always like sunken in living rooms and a lot of houses built in that time are multi-level um but not in the way that they have like one steep staircase and that's kind of how this place is i'm not going to show you too much now because hopefully this house is working out and you guys can see more of a reveal once it's actually mine, hopefully actually mine, we're much further along in this process now, which is exciting. Um, but obviously things could still go very wrong. So where do I start? We've done several inspections for the house already. It is a country house, so it's on a septic system and well water. There have actually been some issues with both of those systems that were getting sorted prior to closing. I'm not sure how familiar you guys are with septic systems, but it's basically like your own sewage system. And I've learned specifically in the area that we're 
looking and in a lot of the surrounding area as well. It's where New York City gets their water, so the government really cares about your septic system and wants to ensure that it's maintained, so any issues with the septic are actually covered by the government, which is really cool because that could be like a $30,000 job. It's not dire, but it's something that we've found out is gonna need to be sorted soon. But structurally, the house came back all good. The roof was still in great condition. The skylights, there's a ton of them, are still in great condition. The windows are all good, and the house is pretty well insulated. I do have some things that happened in the inspection that I wanna share with you guys in case you're going under contract on a house and you're kind of in this period. I'm sure you've heard that you should always get an inspection on your house and really you should never waive inspection. If we would have waived inspection on this house, we would have easily been out thousands and thousands of dollars in surprises. So in our first inspection, the attic was actually not accessible. It was nailed shut and it's quite a small attic, but the inspector that we had first could not get into it which usually the sellers are supposed to make all areas of the house accessible for you for the inspection. So that was weird. The inspector already traveled like a couple hours to come inspect our place. So it was also quite frustrating. So we had to have a conversation with the sellers about getting in the attic. We had to have another inspection done. And when that inspection was done, they found some mold in our attic. It's pretty wet upstate, so mold is really common and it's not that big of a deal, especially in attics, it can be dealt with. But the quote for the job is $8,200 and the sellers are actually gonna cover it, um, but they wouldn't have if we didn't insist on seeing the attic. So I'm so glad we insisted on seeing the attic. And maybe that's just a lesson for you guys to get all of your inspections done. Make sure you do water testing, radon testing, septic testing if you're on a septic system. Radon is super harmful for your health, so it's good to know about that. You wanna make sure your water is clean, especially if it's on a well water system. The house that we're buying was actually a second home for the sellers, so someone wasn't living in it full time. And there was some funky stuff going on with our water that has since been sorted out. But if we didn't get the water test, could have been having some stomach problems after move-in. I'm so glad we paid the extra for that as well. But yeah, I feel like I've just been spending so much time organizing documents and stuff for the lender. I have a spreadsheet of all the work that needs to be done for the house and estimates and all of like my down payment and closing costs. I'm like a big spreadsheet and planning girl when it comes to finances, so it's actually really fun for me. But yeah, it's definitely the most personal money I've ever spent. I have spent more in my business at one time because we usually manufacture like a full collection at a time and that comes with a really hefty price tag. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot. I'll definitely keep you guys updated. I hope it works out. We have about a month to go until close right now. So we'll have to see. I'm definitely on like a low spend season in life. Other than this, I really kind of cut myself off from extra spending, but it's been good for me. I'm so excited to put my money towards this place. And I can't wait to share the whole renovation process with you guys because it definitely is a house that needs some renovating there's a lot of carpet the whole outside needs painted in a bit of siding replacement we're gonna paint the whole inside too and we're doing kitchens we're doing bathrooms none of this all at once but it's gonna be a really fun project and i'm so excited to do all of the landscaping jobs as well there's already some really beautiful landscaping at the house yeah it's just gonna be such a fun project and definitely such a big part of my content moving forward so that's the update for now i'm sure you'll hear from me hopefully with good news in a couple more weeks because we still have to get through appraisal the sellers can't back out. They have my earnest money. We have to get final mortgage approval. But I am pre-approved, so hopefully no issues. Um, you just never know what can go wrong, but it's a really exciting time in life. I wanted to also show some things that I'm drinking and snacking on. I have been obsessed with these mortal kombuchas lately, and also these cookies are totally my guilty easy pleasure. <laughs> then I went to the grocery store to pick up some things for dinner tonight. 
I am going to follow this New York Times cauliflower recipe and add some chicken to it for some extra protein. I also picked up some wines, but then my boyfriend ended up making us spritzes and I had one while I cooked dinner for us. Here's a finished look at the food. It was so hearty, so delicious, and still pretty healthy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you soon with a new one. Bye!